Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I just want to say quickly before the video starts that over 60% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet. So if you want to help me out, get closer to my goal of 50,000 subscribers, make sure to drop us up. We're posting seven videos a week, daily uploads. So make sure to drop us up if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Be sure to also consider liking and dropping a comment down below, giving me some feedback if you did find this video helpful. But before I actually show you the VHS buildup effect that you guys saw in the intro, I just want to let you know that I have a massive announcement stream Saturday, April 3rd. So make sure to tune in for that. It'll be at 12 p.m. PST. I'll have all the other times up on the screen for all the different time zones. But with that being said, all the links to the presets, plugins, and downloads, as well as the timestamps to skip ahead to, will be in the description for you guys to check out if you want to skip ahead to those. But I hope you guys do enjoy the video, and I'm going to load up DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, so as usual, we are in a 1920 by 1080 project, 60 FPS. I bet you've heard me say that enough. All right, so the next thing we want to do is just make sure you have your song and your actual clip in the media pool right here. I'm just going to drag in my song, expand the window like this and we're actually just going to shorten this down all right so right here is the point we actually want to have our shot just right about two frames over so just about here we're going to add a marker just to know where we want to have our shot so all this space beforehand is where we're actually going to put our build up so what we're going to want to do here you can just preview your clip up here by double clicking in the top left and we're actually going to go to the point right before it starts pickaxing the wall just so we have some time to work with beforehand go to right about the end click on these arrows just to add the beginning and end and then right about here we're actually just going to add a marker so just like this I'm going to get rid of my microphone audio because sometimes it bugs and it doesn't really sound the best. So we're just going to go like this. And we're actually just going to line it up right here. All right, so now we have it lined up. We're just going to drag it out just like this, just on either side. I'm actually going to delete the audio because we're going to add a shotgun shot just like this. I'm going to go to my sound effects folder. We're going to go to spaz headshot. Just drag that in right here. And we're just going to make that a tiny bit louder just so we have a bit of a sound effect on the actual kill. All right, and just like that, it should be completely good. And all we're going to do, I'm just going to add uh, two little uh, adjustment clips before and after the kill. So we're just going to add one right here. Going to add one beforehand as well. We're going to start our build up right before the actual wall breaks. Uh, but the first thing we want to do is add velocity. So just right click on your clip. Go into retime controls. Make sure they're unlinked, by the way. Add a speed point just on where the wall breaks. Add a speed point on the kill right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go right in between the two add a speed point just here change this first one to 50 percent change this second one to 200 percent change this last one to 50 percent then we're going to put it on the actual kill marker just lined it up so it looks something just like this so now that we have the adjustment clip actually starting right at this uh, slow-mo point we're going to go 10 frames back so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten frames back drag this out all the way and from there what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the fusion tab for this all right, so by the way, make sure for this, you have the Universe plugins installed as well as the Sapphire plugins, which we're gonna... So for this one, make sure we have the Universe and Sapphire plugins installed. I'll have the links to those in the description as well as the tutorial if you wanna follow along with that. But with that being said, press Control Space on your keyboard and look up VHS just like this. So you bring up Uni VHS. Just drag it in and what you can see right here we already have a really nice vhs just go to browse presets and we're actually going to pick the svhs studio preset which will change it to something like this we're actually going to scroll down to the very bottom right here to where it says blend with original keyframe it at the very beginning at 100 and then this is where the 10 frames comes into play so go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right here this is where our slow mo is going to start just drag your blend with original down to zero just so it goes like this all right so now make sure you have your playback head of when the vhs actually fully cuts in and we're going to add a shake so just drag in an s shake this is what we need the sapphire plugins for and so now that we have the shake in here all we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the amplitude on this uh point where the vhs fully comes in we're going to keyframe the amplitude down at zero we're going to go to the very end and keyframe it at one and by the way i'll quickly show you guys the settings for this it's just this right here this is the default settings uh, you can change the amplitude to a zero and then at the very end keyframe it at one z shake tilt shake and x shake are all set to zero just copy these y shake values right here though all right so once we actually have the shake you can see that it just adds a nice little build up shake i'm actually just going to turn it down to 0 0.7 just because it is a bit too intense for one right on the actual build up right here so it goes like this and then boom 0.7 just so it does a nice little build up and then from here we're actually going to look up stretch 
frame edges just like this so just drag and stretch frame edges and once we actually have stretch frame edges in just go to the very end keyframe the center squeeze to 0.7 and go 15 frames back so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 you're just going to change the center squeeze back to 1 just so it's a default value and we can see that it does a nice little build up just like that but we actually don't want a progressive build up we're going to actually graph edit it so go to your spline up here you're actually just going to make sure you don't have any of these selected. Just bring up your center squeeze right here. Just press this button right here to actually bring it out. Press Control A and S on your keyboard. And we're actually just, just copy the graph that I actually do right here. So it looks something like this. And that's pretty much going to be it for the buildup. If you want to, you can just go right here and cut the clip just like this. And you can have it so it cuts on the kill. And then even you can just go to the equalizer right here or something and just bring these down just like this. So it's like an underwater audio. But what that does, it has like an underwater audio kind of thing. That's all you got to do. I'll have the preset to the actual buildup in the description. But I hope you guys actually found that easy to follow along with. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any difficulties. And yeah, just like that, guys, we have a nice VHS buildup that you can use in your own Fortnite montages. If you guys did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be moving on to the After Effects portion. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so I'm in a brand new After Effects project, 1920 by 1080 uh, as usual. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag in my song just so we can kind of get an idea of that the first beat we want to use is right here this is going to be the only beat we're actually using for the song so i'm just going to get rid of it this is literally the only portion we're going to be using for uh this part i might just extend it out if we actually need to after just drag in your clip uh whatever you want to use doesn't really matter on the clip just for me i'm using this random or my drop down and like 160 the guy in the head and just like that it should be good all we're going to want to do from here just add an adjustment layer just beforehand and then you're going to go to the kill Add an adjustment layer after the kill and from there what we're gonna do i'm gonna just turn the song back on we are going to actually just drag in uh uni vhs you're gonna need universe plugins and sapphire plugins for this so make sure to install those go to your browse presets click on this one right here svhs studio that's the uh, preset i use and then go to right where he breaks the wall the first frame he actually fully breaks it just right here and from here we're gonna actually keyframe our blend with original right here at zero go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten frames back Make sure the adjustment uh, layers all the way back out there. Change it to 100. So what it does is as soon as the wall's broken. So what it does is just right when the wall's broken, it's actually when the uh, VHS fades in. We're going to find the point where the actual VHS fades in. So right here, we're just going to look up our S shake just like this. This is going to serve as our pre shake for the actual build up. And what we're going to actually do now is right where the VHS first comes in, keyframe your amplitude at zero. Go to the very end of keyframe at one. I'll quickly just show you uh, the settings right here. Let me just make sure that the shake isn't too much. Yeah, it's honestly, it's it's not too bad. I just copy the settings right here. X shake, Z shake, and tilt shake are all set to zero. So just turn those down. And then my Y shake's just set to that. And you can see that it just does a nice little build up like that. And last thing there is to do for the actual buildup itself is to actually add stretch frame edges. So just like this, drag in S stretch frame edges, just like this. I'm going to re-enable my preview. And on the kill, we're going to change it to 0.7. Change your center squeeze to 0.7. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Anywhere from 15 to 20 frames back. Change it to 1. Uh, doesn't really matter. And then just select your keyframes right here. Press F9. Go into your graph editor expand it out just like this and just do something like this nothing too crazy just so it boom yeah that's perfectly fine if you guys want to take this effect to the next level what you can do uh bring up the keyframe menu right here split the song right about here and then go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten frames back drag it out just like this drag this out just like here and then what you're going to do is you're going to look up high low pass make sure you also cut it on the kill just so it's its own individual layer drag on high low pass onto the audio itself i'm actually going to enable the audio so you can hear what it sounds like we're going to change this to low pass change the initial value to 20,000, the cutoff frequency at the very beginning and then right about here change it to 400 so where our vhs fades in change it to 400 and what it'll do i'll show you what it quickly sounds like 
But what it does is just kind of does a nice little fade out effect. I'll have the preset for the actual build up and the impact in the description if you guys want to use that. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. I know it was a short little tutorial and a pretty basic effect. But trust me, it takes your montages to the next level. I've been using it in some of my over edits. But if you guys did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.